Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number two. The first thing to notice in this question is that O is the centre of the circle. If line AC goes through O then it must be a diameter. If we have a diameter we have a semicircle, in which case the angle here at B is a right angle, using our circle theorems. So we can draw a nice right angle triangle, where the length BC is 8 root 3, and the angle BAC is 60 degrees. We can use Sokotoa to find some of the missing sides here, so let's label the triangle. AC is the hypotenuse, BC is the opposite, and AB is the adjacent. Let's start by trying to find the hypotenuse. Well, sine of 60 equals the opposite, which is 8 root 3, divided by the hypotenuse. Sine of 60 is an exact value, you should know, that's square root 3 over 2. And if you now divide both sides of this by square root 3, you'll get 1 half equals 8 over h, which solves to give you h equals 16. So we found the hypotenuse at 16. What about the adjacent? Well this time let's write down cos of 60, which is the adjacent, divide by the hypotenuse, which we now know is 16. So the adjacent is 16 times cos 60, but cos 60 is another exact value, this is just 1 half. So it's 16 times 1 half, which is just 8. So we found the adjacent to be 8. We can now add both of these new lengths onto our diagram. Now to find the area of the shaded region, I'm going to do the area of the triangle first, which is 1 half times the base, which is 8, times the perpendicular height, which is 8 root 3, and if you do this, you'll end up with 32 root 3. Now we'll do the area of the circle. Well, that's just pi times the radius squared. We can see the diameter AC is length 16, so the radius is half of this, which is 8. So pi times 8 squared, which is 64 pi. So the area of the shaded region is just the area of the circle, subtract the triangle, so 64 pi, take away 32 root 3. And that's your answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.